from multi-agent pathfinding to three-dimensional pipe routing. This is joint result with Wenbo, Maria, Daniel, Sven and Shinrui. We talk about pipe routing in the context of chemical process plants. Then we adapt prioritized planning to this problem and conclude by experimental results. The plant layout design problem is a complex problem by itself involving many constraints which probably known only to engineers which are hard to formalize and that's why it takes several years to design a process plant. It takes several teams of engineers. This process is iterative and very much heuristic and uh, in stake are billions of dollars. That's why it's important to have good solutions for this problem. This is a special case of the so-called special packaging problem. The, uh, the whole plant layout design problem in the literature is typically separated into two phases. The first phase is equipment allocation and the second phase is pipe layout. So we typically accept the equipment layout from phase one and then we do pipe routing. So this is phase two we're looking at. And the pipe routing problem we consider is a simplification of the practical problem. We consider only access parallel segments, which is mostly the case in practice. We don't consider branchings of the pipes, which would lead to a Steiner tree problem. Uh, sure, we need disjointness from other objects. We consider uh, support and elevation costs. And these are constraints and the objective function is given by uh, material costs and the bends and uh, construction cost of supports. We don't consider operational costs. So we use a single pipe solver from the literature. It's, it considers a routing landscape given by a set of cuboid obstacles as you see in the picture. Each pipe is defined by start and end points called nozzles which also give the direction how the pipe exits uh, the equipment and we uh, also have support zones where the pipe uh, is uh, can be supported. We also have uh, all the other data like the diameters of the pipe and minimal separation distances and uh, various costs. For a single pipe the routing is done by solving a general optimization model. In the example you see a three-dimensional pipe route with orthogonal bends. The data defines the start and end points of the pipe as well as possibly the directions of the nozzle segments and the task of the model is to find the positions of the bends. There is a parameter on the maximum number of bends and the model decides how many of them to use and where to put them. The constraints, uh, the main constraint is disjointness of the segments of, of the pipe with uh, equipment and with other segments of the same pipe and the disjointness constraint is modeled as a logical disjunction between inequalities which uh, express separation of, uh, of the objects along certain coordinate direction and we require orthogonal direction change at each bend. This model was implemented in MiniZinc which is a general purpose modeling, langu modeling language allowing translation of a model to several solving technologies and Solving this model is 
slow, it requires can require several minutes per pipe, but the advantage is that such a model allows general site constraints and compared to practical solving process this is actually faster. And so this was for one single pipe. Now we actually have several pipes and we need to, to somehow route them in a conflict-free way. So state of the art for pipe routing to do this was a so-called fixed order approach. We uh, construct a list of pipes in certain order, for example, by non-increasing cost approximations. And then we route pipes sequentially and uh, each routed pipe pipe becomes an obstacle for the remaining ones. Now when we come to multi-agent pathfinding, which is in, in its classical version is an abstraction of, of many problems, including pipe routing and robotics. So a problem, a path or a solution of multi-agent multi-agent pathfinding is a set of collision-free paths in uh, XYT space. So X, XY is a two-dimensional path, but uh, it is the movement happens uh, along the time. So you have XYT and the similarity to pipe routing that you have paths in XYZ space. But here we also have a more geometric constraints such as pipe diameters and all other things. And if we look at conflict resolution methods from MAPF, then uh, what we do with uh, setting priorities for the pipes was called prioritized planning. And there is a recent algorithm called priority based search. Uh, which tries to exhaustively enumerate enumerate the priority orderings. So what it does, it it looks at it first constructs some some uh, individually optimal paths for each path, and then uh, it, if there are any conflicts, then it tries to branch by prioritizing uh, one or the other. Uh, path and that way it creates a conflict tree and this is called the upper level of the algorithm and then in the lower level we actually plan the paths. Now the whole thing is suboptimal because you you don't know which paths you look at so uh, to construct a globally uh, optimal solution you might need to have actually uh, suboptimal paths for each pipe and we adapted this algorithm uh, as branch and bound so uh, we don't stop after the first feasible solution we continue searching to trying to improve it and uh, we also try to cut off unpromising branches and we also allow incomplete solutions when some pipes fail to be routed and we also looked at two heuristics well PBS is a heuristic but uh, we looked at two algorithms which can be called even more heuristic and one is the randomized restarts which is sampling of the conflict tree so we do randomized dives down the tree uh, to which is done iteratively and the other one is large neighborhood search which we call hill climbing so we take a feasible solution and then we reconstruct some part of it and there are various, various uh, versions how we can construct a feasible solution and we come to experimental results we have five synthetic test instances which were constructed with the purpose of having dense uh, allocation uh, of obstacles in the in the landscape and also many pipes so the routing uh, the whole routing procedure would have it hard and so the three examples in the end have each 23 pipes and each the, the same set of obstacles but they differ by the layout of the obstacles from phase one 
and we also have two industrial test instances uh, the left one the acid gas removal unit has 66 pipes and the right one has 200 pipes and here is the data on the examples the number of equipment pieces number of logical obstacles such as maintenance access zones number of pipes the bounding box the density of, of space, space occupation and the maximal runtime per algorithm for each instance and we use uh, Minzing 242 as the modeling environment and the MIPSOLA GURA B9 for performance evaluation we considered two indicators the most important one is the number of successfully routed pipes in the bottom plot you see the this number of routed pipes expressed as the difference to that of the independent solution where each pipe was routed independently so the number of missing pipes and the second indicator is uh, the total cost of the pipes expressed as the percentage gap to the independent routing and obviously two solutions are only comparable if the uh, number of successful pipes is equal we see that for example the fix order algorithm the previous state-of-the-art algorithm uh, for this instance obtains a solution with four missing pipes and there is uh, another algorithm which is hill climbing which starts from that fixed order solution but it manages to improve uh, the number of successful pipes actually down down to complete set and all other algorithms have uh, more successful pipes but then even uh, smaller total cost so the total cost is expressed as a gap to the cost of the independent routing solution then a uh, similar plot for the first industrial instance the uh, our the previous algorithm the fixed order finds a solution with two missing pipes and all other algorithms improve that the, they can successfully route all pipes and improve the cost and for the big industrial instance similar picture in comparison between the algorithms we can see that they uh, for example the enumeration algorithm the PBS it takes longer to obtain solutions but it uh, has better results in the end as a conclusion we can state that prioritized planning seems to work well in this area where savings can mean huge dollar amounts and as outlook there are several points like path coordination typically support structures are used by many pipes then there is simultaneous allocation of pipes and equipment and then there are pipes with junctions which uh, re leads to a Steiner tree problem and we hope this opens a new interesting research direction